Right, take three. I've already opened it. I've filmed it. It went wrong. I restarted filming it. Went wrong. So here we go. Third attempt. I have a, I have a yayo. However you do, yes, another envelope opening. I'm not a clue. So uh, this is from Martin Fankatanka. Um, I say I have already opened it. And I'm sorry the camera went wrong and didn't catch the video. But um, as you can see by my face, this, this is one of the funniest packages I've ever received. So um, let's let's make a start. So uh, some of the Sparrow blend I've been waiting for. Um, so Virginia Burley, and it's got kind of a sweet, almost aromatic smell. I wouldn't quite say maple, kind of maple dark chocolate kind of smell to it. But just a, uh, as you as you find with a lot of these Virginia Burley shag blends, um, of course you shouldn't roll these tobaccos, they'd be naughty. So I will give this a try in uh, both forms, paper and pipe. If I get a chance to do it before Cuba, I'll try, but... <laughs> In fact, I might even take it with me, do it while I'm over there. But then, the reason that this says, please do not bend. Oh, this is brilliant. Martin has sent me a certificate. I am now a proud member of the No Name Number 2 Pipe Smokers Tobacco Appreciation Society. This is by far one of the greatest tobaccos I've ever smoked, and I'm very, very proud to be a member of this um, this prestigious association. Um, signed by the two by the two founding members of this group, Martin Frankatanka and Fidel Castro. So uh, I'll make sure when I'm in Cuba to uh, to thank him personally for this. But Martin, this is absolutely fucking brilliant. I love it. Um, I'm going to pick myself up a nice frame at lunch and this is going pride of place on my wall so it's in every future video. <laughs> oh man, thank you so much. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Member of the No Name Number Two Society. Woo! Martin, again, thank you man. That is absolutely brilliant. You've uh, made my morning. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm just in the process of finishing up editing the video I shot for the uh, the Good Dram Show last night. Uh, Chris did a video on the Aaron whiskies, so if you're into the Aaron whiskies, give me an hour or two, and uh, hopefully I should we should have the uh, review of the ten and fourteen year old, I believe it was. So short video, just a quick video this morning, and uh, say thanks very very much for watching. Um, I'm hoping as well throughout today that I'm going to be able to do a bit of a comparison. Um, I'm going to be comparing two different snuffs. This is the Wilsons of Sharrow Kendall Brown and the Gareth and Hogarth. Sorry, the Gareth Hogarth Kendall Brown. Um, there is also the Freiburg as well, but I'm just going to compare, just compare these two, uh, find the differences. I've tried none of these before, so uh, I'm going to be completely blind to it. I need to just let some of this old Paris diffuse in my nose, and I can uh, make a start on this. So, like I say, thank you very, very much for watching, and again, Martin, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, take care. Goodbye. Right, so I'm uh, I'm here to do a bit of a bit of a snuff comparison. I am um, going to be comparing the Kendall, the Gower from Hogarth, sorry, Kendall Brown to the Wilsons of Sharrow, Kendall Brown. Now I've had a bit of this already this afternoon, and um, you're about to see what I think of it. Um, it's a very, very, very fine snuff. Um, as you can see, it's dry. Um, it's fine, but there are some coarser bits in there. The smell. Slightly sandalwood, maybe. There is a very, very woody smell to it. Um, it's about as dry as a toast, but not quite as fine as a toast. It doesn't have a very strong aroma to it. It smells a lot better out of the pouch than it does when you take a pinch, sort of thing. Um, slightly florally edge it's a little bit a little bit dusty it carries a decent amount of nicotine but has very very little aroma you get a little bit of a tingle in your nose but i've not really been taking snuff a lot uh, in the last about five four or five months i have been but prior to that i used to just take a bit every so often but this carries a lot of nicotine um but the say the scent is so 
minuscule. I can barely, I can barely even smell it. Um, that was a big dope, a big dollop, and um, a bit of a tingle. A very, very light, woody smell. It smells stronger out of the tub than what it does up your nose, but it's quite disappointing. There's a quick hint of an aroma then it's gone. But I say it carries a bit of nicotine, you can feel it almost instantly. Um, I don't know if that's down to the uh, the finely groundness, it absorbs in through the kind of the cell walls and the capillaries in your nose, but I'm not overly, overly impressed with this at all, to be honest. It doesn't smell like um, Best Brown or any of the brown um, flake tobaccos that, get, that I, either of the Gowiths produce. Um, I think Samuel Gowith do a Kendall Brown as well. I might have to get hold of some of that and do a later comparison, but so far, this is probably one of the most disappointing snuffs I've ever tried. I just hope, I really do hope that um, the Wilsons ones are a lot better. Yeah, so I've got some Wilsons of Sharrow, Kendall Brown to give a try as well. But um, after the start of this one, I don't know if I can even be bothered to open this. So I'm going to give this a few hours to subside out of my nostrils and... Uh, Maybe back later with the uh, the Wilsons one. But uh, until then, I'll see you later. Take care. Right, so I'm back with the uh, second part of today's snuff reviews. This is the uh, the Wilsons of Sharrow version of Kendall Brown, which you can't obviously see. I can't seem to get the focus right in this position. Um, I've had a I had a bit more of the Ga the Gareth and Hogarth version of it. And um, one thing I will say about it is for a fine dry snuff it hasn't come down the back of my nose i haven't been sneezing i don't feel all blocked up it seems a very very good absorbent snuff um i say decent amount of nicotine very very little aromas to it um not expecting much better with the, the wilson's one so let's have an ozy looks very similar it's quite dark there's a few lighter little tones in there as well um out of the tin, it's got a similar aroma, but it's a little bit more, a little bit more perfume. Maybe a rose, rose and musk, maybe. It's still got that kind of sandalwood smell, and there's also a slightly rotting, earthy kind of rotting plant matter sort of smell to it. So, like I say, it's a little bit more moist. It's still quite fine, but it actually clumps up. Whoops! It clumps up really well and falls off. It clumps up very well. Um, so, took a big bit up, took a big bit up, the smell, very musky, got kind of a manure, kind, manure sort of tang to it, nowhere near as bad as the Santo Domingo, um, a little bit more like the Prince's kind of faint edge of it, flavours, peaks really quickly, Finishes on a slightly rose, maybe rose kind of sandalwood finish. Carries the nicotine again. But that's it. The flavour is practically, practically gone. It's either I've completely saturated my uh, sense of smell over the last couple of months, how much I've been hammering snuff, but I'm quite disappointed in this. I say I'm disappointed. Um, I can see this snuff having a bit of a following. Um, it's all down to why you take snuff. Now, when you take an extra pinch on top, it's taking quite a bit, it's making my eyes actually water. It's not too harsh, it doesn't sting, it doesn't burn or anything like that, but it's The scent's pretty poor, but the nicotine wise is pretty good. Uh, it carries a little bit more of a punch than the uh, Gareth and Hogarth version does. Sorry, I keep referring this to Gareth, it's a uh, force of habit. Um, but like I say, I can see that this snuff has a has a purpose. Like I say, it's all down to why you take snuff. Um, I take snuff for two reasons, really. Um, well, in reality, there's three. First reason is I am a tobacco junkie. I freaking love the buzz of tobacco. I have uh, the nicotine. I freaking love the stuff. Second reason is I like the the pick me up, the stimulation, and I like the aroma. 
Um, third reason I take snuff is, well, I work in the tobacco trade and the only way you can know about the products I sell is by trying them, but that's immaterial. Uh, the first two reasons are the reasons I take snuff. If it's a medicated, I take it to unblock sinuses or wake me up in the morning. But this kind of snuff, you, th there's no point in taking this snuff if you want an aroma. It's so short-lived and so light, it's... I mean, it's still there. I've still got that kind of slightly rose, slightly sandalwood, musky, fusty, rotting kind of smell, but it never makes that sound nice, does it? Fusty, musty, musky, rotting smell. But it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, it's like walking around woodland in autumn um, when all the leaves are rotting on the floor and all are rotting on the floor. It's that beautiful kind of smell. But the, I, the only way I can see people wanting to take this is as a, as a quit-smoking snuff or... Uh, if you're stuck, I can imagine this may have been quite popular, quite popular in the pit days with miners and things like that. Um, but for me, and for most of you guys out there who take snuff for, for the aroma, I, I, this is very pointless. Um, like I say, it'd be a great um, like nicotine alternative, but as far as a, a fragrant sort of snuff goes, it's, it's pretty poor. Um, so... I, it's hard to say, really. Um, for a snuff that carries nicotine, very, very small aroma, it's perfect. It's bang on. But if you like snuff because you love the aromas and things like that, it's crap. It's smooth. It's not It's not too fine. It goes down the back of your throat. It doesn't kind of make your face feel full like some of the coarser, I mean, some of the coarser moisture rapees and things like that do. But, but no, I'm... Definitely not a fan. Definitely not a fan of the uh, Kendall Browns. I will get the Freiburg and Treyer. Um, somebody's lending me a bit of the Brunswick Brown from uh, ba -ba 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 -bum, Tock. And um, I think Samuel Gowith do a Kendall Brown. I'll have to have a double check. I can't remember what if they do or not. But um, I can imagine they're all, all along the same sort of lines if these two are. Um, makes me wonder why they all produce a snuff by the same name and they're all very, very similar. I don't know if one of the two... Uh, Gowiths actually produce the produce the snuff itself. Uh, Wilson's buy the ground snuff and add their own flavourings. I should have asked when I was in the factory, to be honest. Uh, if any of you guys know this, uh, know the answer to this, let me know. But um, but yeah, the Kendall Browns definitely not for me. But um, like I say, it, they may be for you. So uh, give them a try. Don't just go off what I say. Um, I, you can't like everything. I wish we could, but we can't. So um, hopefully that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, big thanks again to Martin Frankatanker. I absolutely love that certificate. Uh, picked myself up a picture frame. That is going on my wall at some point, hopefully before I go. But, um, but yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. And I shall uh, see you all very, very soon. So take care. Goodbye.